People experiencing swelling in the face and neck after eating may not realize that they have a salivary gland disorder and that it can be treated in a minimally invasive manner. The salivary glands produce two to four pints of saliva in the mouth daily, which provides moisture, helps digest food, and prevents tooth decay. When these glands become obstructed, either from salivary gland stones or from strictures, blockage occurs resulting in swelling under the jaw or in front of the ear. At Mount Sinai's Department of Otolaryngology and Head and Neck Surgery, we treat these disorders using a minimally invasive technique called silendoscopy. Silendoscopy is a minimally invasive technique that uses small caliber endoscopes that are placed into the ducts of the salivary glands. These are located in the mouth, and this allows us to visualize, diagnose, irrigate, and dilate the ducts and gland proper. Small salivary stones can be removed using small instruments and retrieval baskets. In addition to salivary stones, other forms of diseases that can be treated with salendoscopy are scarring to the duct called a stricture, chronic salivary gland infections, parotid swelling from the radioactive treatment of thyroid cancer, juvenile recurrent peritonitis in children. There are no external incisions with silendoscopy. In fact, since the introduction of this procedure, patients are less likely to have their glands removed, avoiding any facial scarring. Recovery depends on severity of disease, but typically the recuperation lasts between a few days to a week. This minimally invasive procedure saves recovery time and minimizes the risk of facial muscle weakness. Salivary gland disorders affect just over 1% of the population. However, they can occur in patients of all ages. If left untreated, the disorder will decrease the individual's quality of life, interfering with the ability to eat comfortably and possibly resulting in a permanent loss of function. Typically, patients are referred to Mount Sinai through their primary care physician, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, or a dentist. During their first visit with us, patients can expect to have their medical history taken and undergo a thorough clinical evaluation. If indicated, imaging such as a CT scan or ultrasound will be obtained. After the procedure, patients follow up one to two weeks after surgery, sometimes by telemedicine, and then only as necessary. Mount Sinai is among only a handful of hospitals across the country offering silendoscopy. Many offer open surgery, but patients should ask if silendoscopy is an option at the facility in which they're being treated. Silendoscopy is a procedure with technical nuances and the learning curve is steep, so it's critical that patients seek a physician with experience. At Mount Sinai, our doctors have been performing silendoscopy for decades and are national leaders in the procedure. We now teach other doctors the technique, hosting one of the only advanced courses in the United States. We have performed thousands of these procedures and we are here to help.